This is the Radeon RX 60, uh, 600 XT. It is the cheapest one I could find. It is the most value for your buck, according to the people on YouTube. And I got it for my old PC uh, gaming situation. This computer has a Ryzen 5 3600 in it and a RX 570 card that's four gig. And I was thinking, I kind of want to boost it up because I could hardly play games with it. So this is what I went for. So this is the unboxing. And today I'm going to try to put it in there and double my little uh, VRAM situation. That's what we're doing today. It's a value. It is not my next gaming build because my next gaming build, I have this one. That's gaming build. This one I'm going to take a long time on because I want the best of everything. So this is not even ready to go yet. My nameless helper right here. And but this one, we're going to try to put in here today. We're not going to talk to you deaf about all the crazy stuff that's on this thing. It's not much. It's just a good way to get you into some 1440p gaming. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT is just good for that. It has eight gigs of uh, VRAM in it. It's um, a GDDR6 memory, PCI Express 4.0 support, a AMD FreeSync technology display port 1.4. Now here you can tell that, listen, my stuff's not in the best condition as far as dust goes. That's my tools. I got off Amazon, the link could be at the bottom. I'm trying to get the old graphics card out and I just had to end up yanking it, man. It was a little bit effy after I got the screws out and that little tab at the bottom, it took a bit for it to get out. That's the Phantom Gaming. Uh, it's only a four gig. It's, it's not really worth anything, but I'm gonna put it in the static bag and keep it for later maybe, you know, it's not a big deal, but it did the job. I, I could I could game with it, you know, it just wasn't in the best, you know, the best uh, uh, quality. Now, now I'm gonna put the, uh, the 6600 in. And it, it was kind of complicated. I realized I had to go uh, 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 right to left. So I had to put it in kind of like, you see how I'm tilting it in there? I'm trying to tilt it in there and, and get it in and get it right at the back. And then hopefully it'll go into the the actual um, plug correctly. If y'all have a better way of doing this, remember, I'm a super novice. I take all, you know, all, all any thought process on a way to do this better. Um, if I'm doing something wrong, please tell me in the comments. Now I have to screw it into the back. Um, I don't know the, the official name of it, but uh, in the back where you would actually be plugging your HDMI's and displays into, you screw it into the back of that panel of the case. Uh, it only takes two, uh, two Phillips on my particular case. Um, so I have my little tool I got from Amazon here with the magnetic screwdriver and I can just boop, put it in there. And uh, we're, we're pretty much pretty much ready to go at that point. Now I think I got one in. Now I got to put the next one in. And uh, I, I do. I work with a spotlight. Uh, I like the spotlight. I don't need the whole room to be blaringly bright when I'm doing it. And I just like to just feel like I'm in my little hobby space. And that's what it is to me. It's just a hobby. I like having fun and doing certain things. So I'm uh, I'm happy with my little space to do this in. And shout out to my old lady who, you know, granted me this space and um, really supports me and what I like doing on my spare time. But yeah, and it, now I got it in. I'm making sure it's good. The next thing I got to do, I got to put the plug in. Now, the last uh, GPU had a six prong. This one has an eight prong. But with the uh, the current power supply I have, and a lot of them are built this way, they'll give you a six prong and a two prong to make it an eight prong. So that's right now what I'm trying to get through. And my uh, helpers on the phone, uh, just Phil, he's just he's walking me through this a little bit, and he's telling me exactly, you know how to put it in there and I'm kind of scared to be wiggling it but he tells me don't worry about it just try to get it lined up it can only go in one way uh and I'm just I'm trying to give it as much pressure without breaking anything so I'm a little nervous at this point uh once I'm getting boop now I got it in there everybody's happy I'm making sure everything is where it needs to be okay it looks like it's pretty good and I'm thinking this can't be it this can't be all it takes to put it in a GPU and apparently it is that's it that's all I had to do now it's in there and I'm like, I want to see what my, you know, 290 is going to get me. Me jumping from four gigs of VRAM to eight gigs of VRAM. Uh, so let's see see how, you know, what's the big deal. Now, I have the thumb, the thumb screws on this particular case. That's the tempered glass tinted. I'm just going to put it on here and put the uh, tempered glass back on and, and, you know, screw it in and make sure everything is uh, where it's supposed to be and turn it on and hopefully it uh, boots right. And it did. It took me about a minute for it to boot. 
um, I guess it was recognizing the new card maybe. Uh, right now, Phil's telling me to go through the uh, the uh, AMD software to see what's going on with it. I did download some drivers for it. Uh, they're not hard. The, the people tell you where to go get the drivers at. So once that was in, then it was time to play the game, really. Sex in like two years, that pussy still so good. He got the food. 